convert a mixed number to an improper fraction equivalent using a model. We begin with two whole white bars, each divided by five, and a third bar, also divided by five, but only three of the five sections are white. The two whole bars represent the whole number two. The three of the five sections that are white represent the fraction three-fifths. Put them together, and you have the mixed number two and three-fifths. So far, so good. Now, just like we did with the earlier model example, you simply count and total each of the white sections to convert the mixed number two and three-fifths to an improper fraction. Since each section represents one-fifth, you simply count one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, five-fifths, six-fifths, seven-fifths, eight-fifths, nine-fifths, ten-fifths, eleven-fifths, twelve-fifths, and thirteen-fifths. Congratulations! You just used a model to convert the mixed number two and three-fifths to the improper fraction thirteen-fifths. We used division to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number, remember? What do you think we used to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction? Just the opposite, multiplication. Let me walk you through this using the mixed number three and one-fourth. First, we multiply the whole number three by the fraction's denominator to find out how many fourths there are in the whole number three. Three times four equals twelve. The resulting product, twelve, becomes the new numerator of the improper fraction. The original denominator, four, of the mixed number stays the same, remember? The denominator always stays the same. It tells us into how many parts the whole was originally divided, or how many objects or members there were in the original set. So. You have converted the whole number 3 to the improper fraction 12 fourths. 12 fourths is just another way of telling us it takes 12 fourths to make 3 wholes. We go to the trouble of converting whole numbers to fractions because it is just easier to do the math using fractions with fractions. And we like easy, right? But wait, we can't forget the fraction component of the mixed number, 1 fourth. We have to add the fraction 1 fourth to the whole number's improper fraction 12 fourths. They both have the same denominators, so this will be easy. Got it? 12 over 4 plus 1 over 4 equals 12 plus 1 over 4, which equals 13 over 4, or 13 fourths. Great job! You have converted a mixed number into an improper fraction. There's just no end to your talent. Again, I think you can do this math in your head, but knowing the steps or process is a great tool. You know you will face harder fractions in the future, and now you will be prepared for just about anything. Why don't we try a harder example? I'm here to help if you need me. Plus, you can't say I didn't warn you. How about the mixed numbers 7 and 14 fifteenths? Now, the old you might be freaking out a little, but the new you knows you can do it. Remember, when we convert a mixed number to an equivalent improper fraction, we multiply. So we first multiply the whole number 7 by the fraction's denominator 15. 7 times 15 equals, yes, it's okay to use the calculator. I got 105, did you? So the whole number 7 has been converted to 105 fifteenths. But we can't forget about the fraction 14 fifteenths. We need to add it to the 105 fifteenths. They have the same denominator, so 105 over 15 plus 14 over 15 equals 105 plus 14 over 15, which equals 119 over 15, or 119 fifteenths. Ta-da! I knew you could do it. And you can always check your work by using a calculator or by converting 119 fifteenths using division to see if you get the mixed number 7 and 14 fifteenths. Remember when I said earlier that mixed numbers describe and improper fractions do? See how you had no problem doing the math when you added 105 fifteenths and 14 fifteenths? Can you add 7 and 14 fifteenths and 17 fifteenths? Sure, if you use the improper fraction for 7 and 14 fifteenths. Improper fractions make it easier to do the math. Since you already know its improper fraction is 119 fifteenths, you can add that to the improper fraction 17 fifteenths and get 136 fifteenths. But when you convert 136 fifteenths, you get the mixed number 9 and 1 fifteenth. So would you say he added 135 fifteenths liters of water to the fish tank? Or would you be more likely to say he added 9 and 1 fifteenth liters of water to the fish tank? Improper fractions do. Mixed numbers describe. Both are useful, so it is important to know how to convert them both.